Good evening. It is six o'clock, so we will start the meetings. This is a virtual meeting using the Zoom platform. Members of the public can view this meeting live on Channel 8 or on the city's website. Live Spanish translation services are being provided for tonight's council meeting by telephone. Please dial 720-386-9023 and use code 104091. If you're a council member, please be sure to have your video camera on and be mindful that we are streaming this meeting on Channel 8 and on our city's website. The chat function is disabled to ensure that the public can see all portions of the meeting. The city clerk is the host of the meeting and I and IT staff will be the co-host. For tonight's study session, council members and panelists will be able to unmute themselves when recognized. Please mute yourself when you're finished speaking to prevent disruption. This time I will call the special meeting to order and ask the clerk to call the roll. Mayor Huseman. Present. Mayor Pro Tim Frank. Present. Council member Madera. Present. Council member Alan Thomas. Present. Council member Noble. Present. Council member Wardiola. Present. Council member Hurst. Present. Council member Grimes. Present. Council member Smith. Present. Mayor Huseman, you have a quorum. Thank you, Mr. Gibson. And everybody is present for the meeting. So we will get started with our public hearing. This public hearing is for approving an amendment number three to DIA Tech Center, the PUD zone document to allow the deviation of setback and floor area, floor area ratio standards. Um, this is for ordinance Z-896-11-12-16-17-21. And I will open the public hearing. We'll remind council to use the public hearing only to ask questions, but not to express opinions or indicate how you will vote. Council members are not to present provide testimony if you wish to participate in the decision. Rely only on facts developed in this hearing and in the record and apply those facts to the criteria in the land development code. As I said, the public hearing is open. We'll invite Jenny Axmacher, principal planner, to make the presentation. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and members of Council. Tonight's case before you, Z-896, is for property generally located at the south of East 84th Avenue, west of Tower Road, north of East 81st Avenue, and east of the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge. The applicant, DIA Tech Center LLC, is requesting the third amendment to the DIA Tech Center zone document. See, this property is located to the west of Tower Road, to the north of 81st Avenue, the predominant area is zoned PUD. We have the Nexus North PUD in the northwest corner. We have Second Creek Farms PUD to the north. It's important to note that while that is platted for residential lots, the city actually owns that property and it will not be developed residentially. And then we have the United or Allied Waste Services landfill to the east of Tower Road. The comprehensive plan shows this property predominantly to be DIA technology in future land use with commercial designation adjacent to Tower Road. Here's an aerial of the site. As you can see, some of the lots are already developed. This is USA Airport parking to the south, which is an unincorporated Adams County. We have a McLean distribution center on the west side. This is the Rocky Mountain Arsenal to the far west. We have a distribution center and warehouse facility to the north. There is another industrial building going in just to the south of 83rd Avenue. We have an airport parking facility being constructed to the south of it, and then we have an existing 7-Eleven along Tower Road with some undeveloped commercial area adjacent to it. So the case history for this project in 2011, it was annexed and zoned PUD. Additional approvals were put in place in 2012 for vesting rights, and the PUD was amended in 2016 and 2017 to add additional property to the development. The request tonight is a minor PUD amendment. It's to amend the PUD to allow for the deviation of setbacks and floor area ratio standards to be considered through the minor modification process. This proposed amendment, there are six sheets within the PUD zone document. The first sheet, the cover sheet, only includes updates that reference the third amendment and the appropriate approval signatures. Sheets two and three have no additional changes from the prior amendment two. Sheet four has one additional note referencing Sheet six, note 15, in adjacent to the FAR standards. Sheet five, the land use schedule, there are no proposed changes. And for sheet six, this is where note 15 has been added to the development standards that provide the bulk of the PUD amendment language. So this note allows the community development director to approve deviations to the setback and floor area ratio requirements within the PUD zone document subject to the minor modification process. 
The minor modification process has to be submitted along with a PUD development permit. So there's a specific site plan, building elevations, landscape plans to review with the minor modification request. The minor modification shall not be permitted unless there's one of the following comp compensatory benefits that has been de demonstrated. So this is the list of enhancements that the proposal has to include in order to be considered for this minor modification. So there are three different options for these types of enhancements. One is the installation of an employee amenity. So something like a gazebo or year round um, structure has a minimum floor area ratio to qualify for that. The next proposed amendment would be enhanced landscaping. So an increased to living plant material or landscape coverage. I believe public art is also an option here. The last amendment are enhancements to building materials or articulation. So building facade materials that go above and beyond the minimum design standards that are required within this PUD, additional changes in plane or additional glazing. So here's an example of a site plan that could be considered through this minor modification process. This is a proposal for DIA Tech Center filing eight lot one. It's a thoughtful programmatic site that requires um, specific turning radio radiuses for trucks, truck loading facilities, and specific separations for vehicle loading. So that right now this proposal, um, I believe the building is set back about 166 feet for the maximum front setback where the DIA tech center PUD requirement has a 75 foot maximum front building setback. So this is just a visual example of how a project could apply for this minor modification should the PUD amendment be approved. It's important to note that this proposed amendment does not change any of the approved uses or any of the approved design standards with this project. The minor modification does require the approval of the community development director and approval is not guaranteed with this amendment to the PUD zone document. So notification standards were complied with. According to this case, we notified adjacent property owners via postcard. We published a notice in the Denver Post and three signs were posted on the property. As of this date, staff has received no requests for additional information. This evening, Planning Commission took testimony, held a public hearing and voted five to zero to recommend that City Council uh, approve the proposed PUD amendment. With that, staff is happy to answer any questions that you might have. The applicant is also available. They don't have a presentation, but they're more than happy to answer any questions that council would have. Thank you. Anyone on council have any questions for staff regarding this? <laughs> Seeing none would like to invite the applicant to make any additional comments if they'd like to. Mr. Gibson, if you can bring Mike DeGrant and Paul Thurston over, please. I will move them over now. Good evening, Council. This is Paul Thurston here from um, Becknell Industrial. We have um, presentation that can top what Jenny just did, but I, I wanted to make myself available to answer any questions, should you have any. Does anyone on council have any questions for the applicant? Seeing none, Mr. Gibson, has anyone registered to speak or provided written comments? Mayor Huseman, no members of the public registered to speak or submitted written comments by the deadline today. Thank you, sir. This time I will close the public hearing and I'm looking for a motion in a second to accept the findings and recommendations of the Planning Commission on case Z-896-11-12-16-17-21. Mayor Pro Tem. I motion to accept the findings and recommendations of the Planning Commission on case number Z-896-11-12-16-17-21. Thank you and Council Member Hurst. I'll second the motion. Thank you. I have a motion and a second to accept the findings and recommendations of the Planning Commission on case Z-896-11-12-16-17-21. Is there any discussion? Council Member Hurst? We won't start this again, I promise. I'll put my hand down. 
Seeing no request for discussion, we will take a voice vote, which will be a show of physical hands in your screen so I can count the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It passes nine to zero. Thank you very much. Next, I'm looking for a motion in a second that the city council introduce and approve ordinance Z-896-11-12-16-17-21, approving the DIA Tech Center PUD zone document amendment number three on first reading by council as seated. Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, motion to, uh, sorry, motion that the city council introduce and approve ordinance Z-896-11-12-16-17-21, approving the DIA Tech Center PUD zone document amendment number three on first reading by council is seated. Council member Hurst. All second. Thank you. I have a motion and a second that the city council introduce and approve ordinance Z-896-11-12-16-17-21 approving the DIA tech center PUD zone document amendment number three on first reading by council is seated. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the city clerk please read the title and take a roll call vote. Ordinance Z-896-11-12-16-17-21 and ordinance approving amendment number three to the DIA Tech Center PUD zone document to allow the deviation of setback and floor area ratio standards to be considered through the minor modification process for the property located south of East 84th Avenue west of Tower Road, north of East 81st Avenue, and east of the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge, Commerce City, Colorado. Council Member Madera? Yes. Council Member Alan Thomas? Yes. Council Member Noble? Yes. Council Member Wardiola? Yes. Council Member Hurst? Yes. Council Member Grimes? Yes. Council Member Smith? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Frank? Yes. Mayor Huseman? Yes. Passes nine to zero. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and thank you to the applicants for your time this evening. Next on the agenda is administrative business. Uh, we have one item, which is the ratification of the actions of the council during an emergency special meeting on November 23rd, 2020. Are there any council members that wish to discuss the ratification? What are you referring to, please? Uh, this was the letter from the Metro Mayor Caucus to the governor regarding the COVID-19 response in the state that we all voted on through a Google poll. Thank you. Seeing no request for discussion, I'm looking for a motion and a second to ratify the actions of the council during the emergency special meeting on November 23rd, 2020, which uh, for those that are watching was to allow me to add my signature to the letter. Council member Madera. So moved. Council member Alan Thomas. I'll second the motion. Thank you. I have a motion and a second to ratify the actions of the council during the emergency special meeting on November 23rd, 2020. And we will do a voice vote. So all those in favor, please use your hand. One, two, three, four, five. And it is six to three. So uh, that is uh, Council Member Hurst, Mayor Pro Tem Frank, and Council Member Grimes voting no, and the other six voting yes for you, Mr. Gibson. Thank you, Mayor. And at this time, we will adjourn to the study session. Thank you very much for your participation in the special meeting. And I will call the spe. What's that? Why do I have hands up? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Um, at this time, we will adjourn to the special meeting or to the uh, study session. Um, the special meeting is now adjourned. Um, we'll call the study session to order and we will start with presentations. The first presentation is on homelessness, a holistic approach in Commerce City in Adams County. Will Carolyn Keith, Director of Parks, Recreation and Golf, please make the presentation. <laughs> 